If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. That is a torrent behind that mask. The shoulders abandoned. Spalders of Renewal, Throne of Thunder. Various bosses, kind of a fair drop rate to get that mop to your shoulder piece. The chest is next, which is straight out of the mop PvP vendor. Warmongering Gladiator's Armor, if you are Alliance. Wild, if you're Horde. Three marks of honor to pick up the chest. Now we have a Lady Drenai showing you the Creeping String Larva Belt or Belt of Lava. I don't know exactly what it's called because I can't read. <laughs> Emerald Nightmare Mythic Nithandra is the boss. Kind of about a 12% drop rate for that belt, but it's worth it. The Ebon Hold Boots that you really can't see on a Drenai. Various mobs or just basically step up and buy it at the auction house now we're going to show you the hands which are the gloves of the witch doctor a lot of witch stuff bouncing around makes you wonder if eventually there'll be a witch class to play in wow moving on we're going to show you the back gilded thorian cloak karazan bc version terrestrian ulhoof is the boss 17 percent on the drop rate dwarf disappears and now we're going to show you the head headpiece of the witch doctor throne of thunders when is the boss 11 percent on the drop rate and the last piece i believe is the weapon which is the phoenix fire staff and it drops from mansaroy flame fist great name great name One of my favorite hunter pieces, or transmox, can be for Shaman if you make a few changes. The Waterbond Shoulder Gods, Terrace of the Endless Spring, drops from the Elders. I think it drops from a couple of other bosses there. 18% drop rate. The chess piece is straight out of Pit of Sarin. Scourge Lord Tyrannus drops the Shroud of Rhyme. Kind of a low drop rate, but it's a dungeon. You can spam it. And the belt, which is very difficult to get. I've been trying to get this belt myself. You can get it out of Terrace of the Endless Spring, but the best drop rate is Galleon. He's a boss, an outdoor boss in Valley of the Four Winds. Moving on, the legs are the Leggings of Untimely Demise, Holes of Reflection. Once again, it's a dungeon, so you could spam it. The Captain's Chest, kind of a low drop rate to pick that up, but like I said, you could spam it. And we have a Lady Drenai showing you, or trying to show you, the Mudslide Boots, Pit of Sauron, Scourge Lord Tyrannus, so that's another piece that drops from him. The Hands, Fire Birds, Gloves, which are part of the same tier set as the Shoulders. Wind Lord Meljarek, of course, is the boss. And the Cape is a Alliance only, but there's a ton of blue substitutes that you could pick. Got a Tauren, the headdress of inner rage, Manitoums, various mobs there. Just kill them all or buy it on the auction house. Now we're going to move to the shield, which is straight out of Ice Crown Citadel. Sindragosa is the boss. 18% is the drop rate for that kind of icy looking shield. And the weapon, as you can see, is at a Siege of Ogrimmar. Some transmog sets put ass in the word bad, some put bad in the word ass, and this is one of them. Pauldrons of the Warped Memory, the Nighthold Mythic, as you can see the boss and the drop rate. The chess piece, spingy to vanilla, wow. Got to head to Black Rock Spice, or if you want to get it right, Spire. Just kill various mobs there, or your best bet, buy it on the auction house. We have an Iron Dwarf showing you the belt of celestial alignment the mythic version of the night hold there's the boss and the drop rate and the legs are going to match the chest obviously ebon hold leggings black rock spice again let's get it right black rock spire various mobs but you're probably better just buying it in the auction house the feet atonement greaves next ramus normal mode 25 man grand widow Ferlina is the boss and the hands Gauntlets of Shackled Elements. Very shaman-like, you know? Mythic version of the Night Hole. The back piece is at a Siege of Ogremar, Doom Lord, or your Auction House. So it's a bind when equipped, so you can buy it on the Auction House. The headpiece, Helm of Shackled Elements. Part of the same tier set as the belt and the gloves and the shoulders. The offhand, Black Horns Mighty Bulwark, which you get out of Dragon Soul Heroic. 
and the weapon which is straight out of the iron docks Oshir 12% on the drop rate. Your X mod collection is never complete unless you look like lava as a shaman, crater, flame, spalders, firelands, heroic, Alice Razor is the boss, 15% on the drop rate. The chess piece is bringing you to Vanilla WoW. No, not WoW Classic. You're going to have to get it out of Molten Core, Blackwing Lair, various mobs, kill them all, or just buy it on the auction house. The belt is bringing you to Legion, Emerald Nightmare Mythic version. Nythandra is the boss, Creeping String of Lava. So huge lava theme, theme <laughs> working here. Oh boy, the legs, heroes, leggings, molten core, black wing lair. So you're trying to farm maybe a shaman tier set out of those dungeons, maybe you get it, or you could just step up and buy it on the auction house. Made a mistake, they're not dungeons, they're raids, obviously. Treads of implicit obedience, Firelands Heroic, Shaddix is the boss, 14% on the drop rate. And the hands are the claw, shaper, Gauntlets, Firelands, Alice Razor is the boss, so that's part of the same tier set, the boots, the gloves, and the chest, all from the Firelands. The back, Arcanai Death Shroud, Arcanai Crips, Avatar of the Mighty Red, kind of a decent drop rate. The headpiece is straight out of Dark Moon Fair, Baruma, he's a vendor, 75 Dark Moon tickets to buy the wolf head kind of thing, and the weapon straight out of Old Deer. Kind of a low drop rate, but worth it. Quite a few pieces here are Alliance only, but you can make some substitutes with some other Xbox in this video and work yourself a set for the Horde. Plus, just simply swap out the Tabard for the Frostwolf Clan Tabard, which looks a lot better with this set, I have to say, even though this looks pretty damn good too. So the Fearless Combatants Chain Armor is Legion PvP Vendor, that's Alliance only, obviously. We have a Lady Jedi showing you the belt, which is straight out of Terrace of the Endless Spring, or you could buy, try to get it from Galleon, who's a world boss in Valley of the Four Winds. Moving forward, legs, Fearless Combatants Chain Leggings, same tier set as the chest piece, which is actually a very nice tier set to pick up for any kind of transmog. Love that animation on the shoulders. We have a troll showing you the feet, which are out of Ice Crown Citadel, normal mode, 25 man Lady Death Whisper is the boss. The hands, unclean surgical gloves, Ice Crown Citadel, once again, normal mode, 25 man, Fester Gut, 15% on the drop rate. The back, Alliance only, it's blue, but there's a ton of blue capes that you could substitute, so that's not a problem. Now we're gonna show you the head mask of the Howling Storm, Mana Tombs, Nexus Prince Shafar, also some mobs, also I think you get it on the auction house, the Storm Wake Tabard, which is Alliance only, obviously, Exalted or in gold to pick that up. The weapon is out of Ice Crown Citadel, Sindragosa is the boss. Bring your winter clothes and head over to the Ice Crown Citadel. This is Heroic version 25, Fester Gut, 15% on the drop rate to get the old tier piece for Shaman. Moving forward, we're gonna show you the chest, which is the Grunst chest piece, drops out of Stone Talon Mountains off of a rare, or you could just step up, buy it on the auction house, probably your best bet. The Belt is straight out of Throne of Thunder, Flaming Head Bosses. There's, I believe there's three of them or one of them. I don't know. The Snake with Three Heads is count as one or three bosses. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Moving forward, we're going to show you the legs. Nether Leggings, Nether Storm, Dr. Boob. It's quest reward. That used to be really hard when you were back in Wrath of the Lich King. Didn't know what the heck you were doing. Now it's easy. Moving forward, the feet, Grunts, Ankle Wraps Darkshore. This is a alliance only pickup, and, or you could actually buy it on the auction house, so maybe the Horde can pick it up. The Hand Sanctified Frost Witch's Gloves, Heroic Ice Crown Citadel 25 Man. The back, as you can see, is a 
Equipment cash from the Order of Embers, but there's substitutes that you can pick up. The headpiece, as you can see, also part of that tier set. Heroic 25 man from Ice Crown Citadel as the dwarf is doing his thing. Shadow Pan Tabard, Town Long Stabs, Shadow Pan Quartermaster Gold, and of course, Exalted Rating. And the weapon, High Mall Heroic, Cholgal is the boss. Great drop rate. If you're still listening up and until now, I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll close out by saying what I always say, whatever it is by you, whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, make your day epic.